I'm Scott Brown, and I'm the chief merchant at Marbles the Brain Store. The initial conversation with Jason is we reached out, we said, Jason, we've come across this, this brain cube. Is this something you're selling now? And he said, no, I, I never intended to sell this thing. Mostly I was just messing around in my studio when I came up with this sculpture. And I said to him, we've got to make it. You've got to let us make this thing. And he was very receptive to that. He kind of almost immediately said, you know, I've, I've looked at your website. I've looked at the products you guys have de developed so far. Yeah, let's work together. And the winner is... Jason Fleming! I was, I was tickled. I would, hee hee hee, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd sit back and giggle a little bit. Um, you know, every, every artist wants to be an artist, he wants to be an artist, you know, making a living off of what they do. And once, uh, once I started sitting back and realizing, you know, I could probably, I could probably make a living off this, but I, you know, I never take any of it for granted. I, it could end tomorrow. It could end next week. When it comes to the anatomies, I do look for, I do like to choose toys that A, are popular or they have a significance to me, but ultimately I like to see a toy that will produce a very interesting anatomy. In kindergarten, they had a table set up where they had like machine parts. It was weird because, you know, we're like five-year-olds and there's, you know, screwdrivers and wire snippers and they would just put, I remember it was a, an electric engine or electric motor that they had sitting there with all the copper coil and it, you were just allowed to do whatever you wanted with it. And I remember, you know, trying to take that apart and just unraveling all the copper and just going inside and seeing, you know, what was inside. I never really took a, uh, apart a lot of my toys, but today it's really a, it's, it's a juxtaposition of, you know, these childlike toys, these childlike characters juxtaposed with, you know, something is, is adult and technical as anatomy, which is very complex, but very beautiful to the, to the brain cube. I, I saw, a, you know, a puzzle cube in the store and I'm like, I wanted to do something with it because I always loved it. And it was always iconic and it was always something that I had played with when I, you know, in the eighties when I was in summer camp and I was a teenager. And so basically I got a cube, shaved off all the sides, cut it open so like the clay would have something to adhere to and then side by side I would lay out clay and uh, carve in the, the, the texture of uh, the folds in the brain and that's pretty much you know it wasn't anything more complicated than that. As much as anything in this project I wanted the finished product to look and feel like what he created and I wanted to, to look like a sculpture. It's a really beautiful thing, and the thing that Jason is great at is, is um, capturing the beauty in these objects, in everyday objects, and often toys, and make it such a kind of piece of art. And I didn't want to lose that in the product that we produced. This is the Brain Cube. <laughs>